Lovely. And if he goes faster, you can try. Now try. Now try. Ah, good job. Really good. Slow down, slow down. Yeah, slow down more. Slow down more. Hold. If you feel him get quick, you just try. Think try. Think it, but don't do it. Abby, good girl. And then trot like that. Super job. Up, up. Take everything off. Wow. Okay, walk. Which one did you like the best out of everything? And who was in charge of that? Me. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> the horse does this, I need a stronger bit, I need this. We learn to control our position. I would have you do this off in your arms. Let go. Let go. Deep breaths, Abby. Yeah. Boy, you really... You really... Yeah. Yes, Starbucks. Who doesn't? Not a Deva coup. Sure. Um, there it is. It is. Oh, maybe. Yeah, they're the same. The Deva coup. They're all the same. Yet. Is that what you ordered? We ordered them. <laughs> oh, yeah, you all got dressage saddles from Alex? Yep, and jump, actually. Oh, cool. Yeah. Like a brown. Brown figure yeah, eight. Figure yeah, figure eight jump bridle because you want your brown tack to match your, yeah. your jump tack. <laughs> you want your jump tack for your... Uh... <laughs> Mixing in it. In a cob, right? Yeah, it looks like a cob, huh? Oh, wow. Yeah, he's got a whittle head. <laughs> I thought he was a horse. Yeah, he's kind of... That's what I said, remember? I didn't get you a huge one. But his legs, like, don't... <laughs> he's got long legs. Yeah. His legs are, like... His back legs are very muscular, so we have to use, like, the largest. Yeah, on... Oh, no. Yeah, he's got decent sized legs. He's just not, um, he doesn't he's stand very skirt. tall. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, that's good. Urge to label the horse really quickly on things, right? Like, you have to not make assumptions very quickly or straight away. Like, it's, it is, it's dangerous to make quick assumptions about horses, right? Thank you so much. So, you know, when you think, when you, just because a horse does something one time doesn't mean that that's what they do, right. okay? So it's really important in the first, like, you know, two, three, six months that you are very neutral about everything that happens. You learn from every experience, but you, you know, you sort of take it under advisement, but you don't get caught labeling a horse a certain thing. taking all the pressure out of your legs to start yeah yeah good so straight away you feel what that did mm -hmm. he, he slows, slows down a little bit yep 
So we don't always have to be driving with the leg, right? Now, I agree now we have to again now. <laughs> Okay, you're driving again. Yeah. You know what's funny with these horses? Because um, Dasset Banker is a little bit the same. They feel lazy, but when you watch him, he's walking the biggest he could walk. Okay? So don't keep hassling him over that, right? Now, I want you to keep your reins a little bit more steady. Yep. So keep a little bit more of a contact and you think about moving your seat. So move your hip, your left hip and your right hip with every step. So you feel like your hip moves with every time he takes a step with his hind leg. I feel like that there's a piece of string attached to his left pastern, right? Just above his foot that, it, that goes all the way to your left butt bone, right? And then your right, his right hind foot, it goes, a piece of string goes all the way and attaches to your right butt bone, okay? and your butt bones are in charge of what his hind feet are doing. So if you want him to slow down, you stop moving your seat forward. Yeah, perfect, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so we have to remember how, you have to start to learn your aware, like body awareness, the things that you're doing that you're not even sure you don't even realize you're doing. And the, th the things that you can control, <clears throat> good. Good. You got to keep a little bit of a steady contact. So you want to feel like you can follow his mouth wherever he goes. That's much better there. Good. So the elbows stay elastic, the shoulders stay elastic, and the ah, instantly changes there, yeah? You feel how he's just a little bit steadier and softer? Yeah. Yeah? Good. These are all things that you can control without having to pull on his mouth yet, right? I mean, you are, we want you, we want, you need a contact because you've got to keep him round, but we're not pulling backwards necessarily. Good. All right, we lost that, we've lost that again now, huh? He's sort of bobbing his head. No, don't kick him. The kicking doesn't, that's not the problem, right? The, the reins are the problem. We've let the reins slip a little bit and they're just kind of bobbing around. Yeah, really good. Good. Let's turn and go to the left. So we think about establishing, yeah, he can't walk any bigger than that, okay? That's, that's as big as he can walk. When you're chasing him off of his balance, yeah, see, that's good there. But that feels too slow, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, it's not. So there's a little part of what you think is real that we have to change as well. So when you say, oh, he's this, oh, he's that, right? That, that, that you have to be open to discussion about that. Yeah, good, keep, keep those elbows supple and those shoulders supple, good. Remember, this is a long process with a horse like this, okay? You'll never need another horse in your lifetime, but you, <laughs> but you have to take your time now and understand and not get, you have to resist the urge to get frustrated sometimes because instantly it's not like a perfect, you know, this is how we learn as riders, yeah? I get horses all the time and I, even when I go try them and I get them home and I'm like, oh God. Okay. This is, it's so boring, but like it's what I spend all day doing, right? Like I don't do a lot of exercises until I feel like I can, I can really control the horse where I'm at, you know, right now. So we've lost a little bit of the rain contact. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Good girl. Let's see, we're tripping over. That walk's too big again, you're driving him. Yeah. That zebra fence is kind of spooky. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna shorten the reins up just a touch again. And then we're gonna pick up the trot. We're gonna stay on a similar circle to where you've been. So we think about, he's got two sides, right? You have left rein, left leg, right rein, right leg. And he's to stay connected between all of those. All right. 
shot on. Hold the contact, hold the contact, and then just squeeze, hold the contact, good go. Focus on the steadiness in the rein, in the in the arm. So imagine that you're holding. Have you ever done like an egg and spoon race where you have to hold an egg and a spoon? Probably not. Yeah, well, you should go home and try it one day and try running. Try jogging, holding a, an egg in a spoon. Yeah, it'll help you hold the reins better. Because then you imagine what it's like to balance, balance your hands. Good, but stay <laughs> elastic in your upper body. Yeah, very good, Abby. That's lovely. Yep, good. One more trot than that. How does that feel? Feels, feels pretty good, huh? The magic of a nose band. Yeah, I know. I can't even believe you guys tried to ride him without it. We don't know what we're doing. Well, I know. <laughs> I guess, yeah. A lot of our horses go in the top one. Okay. Straight in it, it's straighter neck with the outside rein there. Very good, Abby. I yeah, hope these are her really lessons nice. for the next year. So I, <laughs> Just I didn't expect anything more than this, um, right, right now. Like I could send you almost into the dressage arena like this, huh? Yeah. Now you're going too big again. You're driving them too big again. Yeah. You see how that helps? Yeah. I want you to not only to bend them to the right this way, Good. I always thought you were the bed left. <laughs> Maybe he likes the bed left. I, my poor dominant hand is my right hand. You what? My dominant hand is my right hand. Oh, it is. Okay. Well, that'd be the same as me. Yeah, that saddle doesn't fit him either. <laughs> Keep those thumbs on top, and you're going to slow your pose to a walk transition. Slow your pose. Relax your right rein. Yep. So when we go to make the walk transition, I don't want to see the, the okay. yeah, that leg kick out in front of you. I would like to see the leg bend actually more. Good. Let's start again. Outside rein, outside rein, inside leg. Every time you want to pull your right rein, I want you to squeeze with your right leg. Yep. Yep. Take your, yeah, good. Think about your lower leg. Breathing on his side. Good go. Good. No bigger than that. Yep, really good. Really good. Change direction again. Nice. Now let the reins, you've let the reins slip a little too much, so we gotta close that contact again. Yep. Now you can bend him a little to the left. Good. Good. And now we're going to post for a bigger trot. So you've got to keep the contact, and I want you to think of like a little medium trot feeling. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. 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 Yep. 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 Bigger. Bigger. Good. Now slow your post again. Slow your post. Good. Good. Do you know why they trip like that? No, no, it's not always your fault. <laughs> what did he do when he went past that, that jump there? He stooped. Yeah. So when they stiffen their neck, they stop everything through their body stops moving. Uh -huh. Right? So the same thing happens when they jump. If the horse becomes, you know, stiff and spooky, they tend to lock their hind legs up and they lock through their back and then they don't jump. So your one job all the time on a horse like this is you have to keep maintaining your supplement. Because remember, his supplement, not yours, well, you still have it. But his supplement, <laughs> right? His supplement depends on your supplement. How about that? Yeah? Does that make sense? That makes sense. And, and, and one thing we could be critical of him is he always does look at everything around him. Right? He is, he is a wicked type of guy. Good. Good. 
Very good. So we're going to come and change direction again. So when you feel him do that, the first thing I want you to do is close your inside leg and just supple him a little bit, whichever direction that you're going, and kind of just get his eye off of whatever he's spooking at or looking at. Yep, this is really good. Good, nice. Let's ride a little bit of a medium trot again now. So we want to think of a bigger trot, bigger trot, bigger trot. Very good. Let's supple him a little bit with the left rein this way. Bigger trot, bigger trot. Yep, supple him with that left rein. Yeah, aha, good girl. Because remember this way your instinct is just to pull the right rein a little too much. Good. Okay, when you're ready, we're gonna ride a canter transition. We'll let the reins get a little long, so we're gonna fix the reins up first. In state, close your fingers. And stay up in front. Yep. Good. And then you're gonna make a transition to walk. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Yeah, good girl. Good. We'll let him have a little walk break. How does that feel compared to what you've been doing? It feels a lot better. Yeah. I've been warming up and stretchy trot. Yeah. And I think it helps with food. Nah, I've I just hold like... your reins right now. Yeah. He's not quite. You're not quite ready for the old stretchy trot. Stretchy trot, you have to have a connection first, right? right. So if he were my horse. Like, I would get on and maybe stretch a little bit, but ultimately right now, what you're asking him to do is not that hard, right? You're just trotting him around for, for now. So that is his warm-up, really. Okay. Yeah, for what he'd be used to. Yeah, instead of someone getting on and doing a bunch of leg yields and shoulder ins and half passes, right? So technically, your, your working trot right now is a warm-up for him. Another thing to, to remember about horses from professionals is they don't spend a lot of time walking around on the buckle, doing some good things. So sometimes those horses are a little bit like insecure, right? That they can, I mean, they're used to sort of somebody getting on and kind of telling them what to do all the time. Okay. So that won't offend him. He would actually prefer that. They're, they're used to being bossed around a little bit. Shorten the warm-up time? I mean, she can get on and do what we did today. Okay. Yeah. Like right. what you got on today and walked around, and then we worked on that walk a lot, and then you just pick up the trot. And okay. and I actually would switch him to a normal snaffle. I would get him out of that um, bit. He doesn't need that. He needs a normal loose ring snaffle. Yeah. That's for horses that don't go on the bit. That's like a leverage bit for dressage. And he's already too round. Like he already goes too on the bit. All right, so your reins are too long. Yeah. There. Too much right rein. Too much right rein. Yep, ride a straight line. Good. And then we'll canter. Inside leg to canter. Inside leg back. Inside leg and canter. Lovely, Abby. Well done. Good. Push your hands forward. Push your hands forward. Move with him. Yep, really good. Really good. Yep, use your outside rein. Use your outside rein. Good. Take your left shoulder back. Left shoulder back. I want you to look over your left shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Now you can look straight ahead and you have to keep your left shoulder back there. Aha. Very good. That's better. Good. That's right. Very good. Now you're going to stop your hip to trot. So stop, bend your knees, bend your knees. Yeah, super, super. Too much right bend, too much right bend, too much right bend. There. Now the reins have gotten long and the trot's gotten long. Yeah, the trot's too big. The trot's too big. And we know that because of the way he reacted then, he was sort of semi out of control. Good. Bend those knees. Good. We're going to go change direction again. Good. A little bit rounder there. Yeah, there you go. Lovely. That's your walk, okay? No bigger than that. 
We have to retrain you into not trying to be a, uh, a rev head out there, huh? You're like a little race car driver. Bigger horses, you want, you want a longer step, not a thicker step. In a perfect world, every horse should take a long step, but not a fast step. Good, let's shorten the reins just a little there. Yep, relax your seat, relax your leg, take all your aids off. Practice taking your aids off so you know what aids you can put back on. Yeah, because sometimes you have all your aids on and you don't realize you don't need them all. Yeah, especially on him. Good, and then we'll trot on when you're ready. So we think about that connection, feel both sides. Feel the left side, feel the right side. Bend your elbows. Yeah, good. No bigger than this right now. Good. There. Because you have to feel like you have this before you ask for more. Okay? We don't want to pick up the trot and just start running around. Good. Let's shorten the reins a little bit here. Yep. Good. Keep the hands just an inch wider apart. An inch. Yep. Good. Good. And now we're going to post for a bigger trot again. Yo. Okay. Good, bigger trot, bigger trot, hands forward, hands forward. Bigger, 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 I know you can do it. Yeah, there we go, and then post for a small trot. Good, and you're going to ride your canter transition. Thumbs on top, hands a little wider apart. Good. Yep, good girl. Now push your hands forward just the tiniest little bit. And take your driving aids off and just relax your, your seat. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I'm whole bunch this morning. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Sam, poor Sam had to do 50 trips for the <laughs> Martingale and a whole bunch. <laughs> Good. And then you're going to ride a little bit bigger, a bigger canter with your seat. So you're going to cover the ground even more. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Lovely, and now slow your seat and collect the canter. Good, very good. Up, let me on, got a few tight. Yep, I'm gonna do that again without getting too clamped on his side. Just stop your seat to collect. Hands a little wider. Yep, good. Hands wider, stretch that left one. Good. So you can bend around your left leg. Relax, push your hands forward. And stop your hip to trot. Good. Hands forward. Stop your hip. Light seat. Yeah, good girl. Good. Hands a little wider here. The left hand tends to want to go join and make friends with the right. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I love that elasticity in your position there. Good. Ride a little medium trot again. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Hands up in front. Lovely, and then slow your post again to collect. Slow your post, thumbs on top. Move the elbows, move the elbows, move the elbows more. Thumbs on top. Good, good, we're gonna go back to the right. So one big thing we have to really focus on, crookedness in a rider starts really early and we have to, we have to address it really early and we already have a little crookedness creeping in for you especially this direction. Good. So the biggest thing for me, I want you to make a walk transition. Slow your, slow your post, slow your post, and then walk. Yeah, love right leg. Good job. That was a big improvement from the one before. Really good. Okay, turn and face me. If I were to do an impression, okay, that. We got that going on here, and we got this, okay? When you're going left, you're like normal, yeah? Okay. Right, like this, shoulder, hip, there. When you're going right, this right leg kicks forward, just a tiny bit. So when I watch your inside leg going left, it's nicely bent this way. When I watch your inside leg when you're going to the right, which remember I would say to you, put your right leg back a little bit, because it tends to creep all the way almost to the girth. Right. Which I wish I could ride actually with my leg close to the girth because I was riding mine too far back. Oh. But, but this one, 
So when I told you to look over your left shoulder, right? So if you look over your left shoulder, the first thing that happens is my left shoulder goes back a little bit. So I align the upper body, yeah? So every time you're going to the right, we have to practice just kind of every now and again, looking over your left shoulder so that you realign yourself a little bit, yeah? Okay. The worst thing with new horses is they, they show up all the little things that we do and we get used to doing on our horses. And then you get on a new horse and then they're like, what are you doing? You're really crooked, right? <laughs> and, and so then, then you're like, oh yeah, huh, that's weird. And then eventually over time, we train them to be okay with our crookedness. But a bit, we'd like to change your crookedness before right. you train them. <laughs> so so we, we would like to really focus on this right leg coming back a little bit underneath you so that we don't get this, right? Where you twist in your hip and then you're, you're always sort of looking to the right and obviously that's related to this right dominant rein. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that, that's the first part of it. And all it does is it just drags the rest of your body this way. And your leg is only there to like, it's like your brace. Yeah, it's like, ah, this is how I hold this position, right? Because it's harder to hold it with your leg in the proper position. Right. So, so this is like, it helps you just be bad about it. <laughs> it helps you. So what we want to do is get that right leg back a little underneath you and then always be looking, just check in over your left shoulder because the minute you do that, it brings your right shoulder back around. Okay, so that's just like a little thing to keep focusing on positionally for you. Just one, right? Yeah, just one. I want you, if you had a dressage saddle on, that's how we would have ridden him today okay so it doesn't change anything treat it the same then we're gonna take your time we'll do a big circle we'll trot first yeah keep the connection remember what i said about the uh, my little speech about your left keep looking over your left shoulder just to realign yep good and then good get that right leg back behind you a little bit yeah good girl that's lovely good girl really straight out good job i love that Good correction. That's what's important, right? The issue is not, it's not a big deal to have things we're working on. It's how hard we work on the correction and focus on that. Good, and then we shot on. Good, bend the elbows. You see what a difference that made to your transition? So the, yeah, the work you did beforehand really helped you find, good, too much right arm. I want you to straighten his neck a little from the left. Good. And then we're going to pick up the canter and we'll canter those two poles. Okay, I love that. That's really good. So our goal here is straightness and your speed. And your speed looks great. So now your goal is your straightness. Keep the frame. Keep that frame. Oh, Abby. That's all right. It's all right. Good. So you're tight. You're tight. You're tight. Relax. Relax. Yeah. All that pressure needs to go out of your riding. Yeah. Good girl. Get that right leg back. So the reason the canter is harder this way, yep, is your right leg doesn't stay in position. Yep. Good. You have to take your thigh off and just think about your lower leg being back. Cover the ground a little. Cover the ground. Good. Now cover the ground a little. How many strides did we get? Yeah. Let's do it again. Bend those knees. Get that right leg back a little. Okay. Wow. 
day walk. Which one did you like the best out of everything? And who was in charge of that? Me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we never say, for me, we don't say the horse does this, I need a stronger bit, I need this. We learn to control our position. I would have you do, just soften your arms. Let go. Just let go. Yep. Let go. Let go of the reins. Hold the buckle. Yep. Yep. Everything is up to us, right? And we just learn to control those things and we don't make anything harder until you're like, oh my God, I can control that, right? He doesn't need to be told to jump at all, okay? <laughs> He's like, I got this, I got this, Adam. We got him to teach you how yeah. to ride. And... Yeah, so we're gonna teach you. And if all you did was stuff like this for like a month, like this, really yes, this is what, she needs to do this for like a month. Like, until she, so we have to go the other way. Yeah? <laughs> Did you like the best out of everything? And who was in charge of that? Me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we never say, for me, we don't say the horse does this, I need a stronger bit, I need this. We learn to control our position. I would have you do, just soften your arms. Let go. Let go. It was like, I didn't let her go. I made her go novice, you know? Like, and she's been going around up a you know, much higher level. Right, but it, the first part is so important that you learn, that they learn what your aids are. So we're gonna do it to the left and you're gonna practice that same feeling. For half an hour or at the end. Um, what's that amazing?
can't jump jumps but it has to always be practiced like perfection like that like good that was way better huh i just started to like not hold my right rein yeah much. yeah you, you fixed your you, did you so how'd you fix that i just started letting it have a gap more yeah just... yeah because he's like dude what are you doing and it freaks him out right when you get crooked because he's probably not used to like so then you're he calls you out on it and you're like oh my god i need to change that i need to fix that so that I can be a better and he can be better then, right? right? And then he, and then all of a sudden, cause you can tell the minute you did that and you're holding that right rein, he's like, I have nowhere to go. So he's panicking. So we have to keep it really basic like that until you learn that and you, you and he have an agreement. Yeah. And he has an understanding and you have an understanding. And then you're like, I can, 
doesn't then you just turn that into a jump nothing changes but we have to make sure you own that first right yeah what does she mean by that gap thing? And well, because she pulls the, because you, you love your right rein more. And with, I realized with Frida, her really strong side in the neck is, is the her left. Right. Oh, the right. The right. Okay. So, so I yeah, pull that's, that one more yeah, too. yeah. And so then he's not as much, and you put as much, you put pressure in there that's not there, Needed. and he's like, whoa. Because he's quite soft. Like, that's where he's quite light. Like, How did you gap too your, light. yeah. I just started loosening she just, you it. You just started like, thinking I, I about it. To pull okay. it. Yeah. More? Yeah. But then I just let go. Yeah. Good. Okay. Good job. We'll do the same tomorrow. All right, okay, great. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you. And then he slows down. That's almost, awesome. So. We have something. When yeah, you I'm ask on. for it.